When I was seven, my parents divorced. And so uh, I grew up with just my mom, um, random um, boyfriends and stepdads along the way. And when I was like 12, she, um, my mom became like addicted to drugs. She was drinking a lot. And, um, and eventually when I was like 14, my mom um, went to prison. I always felt like no one really um, cared about my outcome. No one really um, cherished me or loved me. Or I just felt like, I mean, I guess alone. Basketball became like the sole like sanctuary. I yeah, outlet and sanctuary. I but when I walked into the gym I actually called it my sanctuary because like that is where I just released everything. I remember being angry and crying while I was shooting. I literally got everything out while I was like working out by myself. And then when I played, like I developed these strong relationships with all my, my teammates. And that's where I, like the first place that I felt like, you know, wanted and loved and in a sense basketball would definitely open my heart to people. I had no idea what it meant to be a Christian, but I uh, got kicked out of school and um, I went to a private school and that's where I like encountered God, so to speak. When some more stuff happened with my mom where she like was gone and stuff like that, I was alone and they literally, um, they just took me in. I showed up to school one day and I went into the English teacher who was the uh, youth pastor's wife and I just said, hey, uh, I need somewhere to stay. And she just, she gave me the key and said, back room's yours. And uh, so from 16 to um, when I graduated high school at 17, I lived with them. And that whole entire stint was what like flipped the whole um, script of my life, so to speak. When I met him, he didn't, I didn't know, like I just thought, oh, he's like awesome Christian kid who like plays basketball and he's tall and I need a tall boyfriend. So <laughs> that was like, you know, like him, he meets like the two things. He loves God and he's tall so he can get a chance. Um, but then I found out about his past and I think that he's literally just like a walking example of the grace of God. And I've really gotten to know God and fall more in love with God seeing the work that he's done in him. He wants to be a college basketball coach and in that process of getting to that point is coaching high school, coaching JV boys, coaching varsity boys, coaching travel teams of fifth graders, seventh graders was this year. And so he's just full force, like that's what he's going to do, be a college basketball coach. But getting there is influencing all these kids of different ages and I think coming from the lifestyle that he's had and the people that have had an influence on him, he wants to have that same influence on other kids. But yeah, I'm really happy with where we're at, just being involved in the youth group, being able to influence kids with whatever we can, what, making relationships. And I never thought that I would be able to have an impact on kids because I didn't have any of these crazy, you know, experiences that they might have to have gone through. And I didn't feel like I was relatable. But going in there every Wednesday, it's, it's just awesome. Like, it doesn't matter exactly what you've gone through. It, we're relatable because we love Jesus and we're trying to live for Him. When my life was changed, it was because I met older men and brothers and who became like a brother to me and they showed me the right way to live. And it just gave me a passion to, um, to help other youth who were in my, in my situation. And I just see kids as not um, just another person, but someone with some type of future, untapped potential type thing where God wants to change your life and use it. And so I just want to bridge that gap. I just wonder, you know, if I would have been encountered to this whole walk of being a Christian when I was five, how much different, you know, my life could be. And I mean, it's just common sense that the sooner that you're influenced, you know, the, the sooner that you're gonna live it and then the longer life you'll have walking in that good influence. And to me, there's not, there's not really too many more important things than that is influencing kids and influencing the next generation.